flat screen television with TV stand. 236 million 151 thousand six hundred and ninety four dollars <laughs> apparently my toddler is selling my bedroom TV on let go for two hundred and thirty six thousand dollars seriously how did she get into my phone log in to let go take a picture make a post she even left her signature TV show on in the background as a clue. You should be proud of the fact that your toddler knows how to spell flat screen television. I don't know, but when I was two or three years old, I wasn't able to spell anything. So this is pretty impressive if you ask me. My friend was so rich. He went to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant and ate one of his masterpiece, and he said, Oh, so this is how McDonald's tastes like. And then McDonald's clapped. <laughs> Told my dad to invest in Apple a few weeks before the iPhone came out. Stock was worth like 15 bucks then. Sucked being 12. You can present a well-researched opinion, back with data, and be ignored because you're young. Well, to be fair to your dad, you probably had a lot of dumb ideas too. Well, to be fair, if you failed to use your correctly in your well-researched opinion, you can't expect anyone to take you seriously. Sorry if I laugh at the end of every single one of these, this is just comedy gold, man. One time when I was like six or seven, I was hanging out with a friend on one of these, and he told me a joke so funny, God I wish I could remember, that I lost control and peed myself. But I was on the one upside, so my pee stream trickled down and wet his pants, and I couldn't stop laughing as I watched it happen. Even when he noticed I had peed his pants and got off sobbing, I couldn't stop cackling. I hit the ground and rolled off, giggling and probably still peeing myself. I peed someone else's pants. I never saw that kid again. Sorry, kid. <laughs> Oh my god, I just had the worst voice crack ever. I'm not gonna be able to do this video if I keep laughing. <laughs> also, let's assume this story was real for a second, okay? Did that kid not have enough time to look at the pee trickling down the seesaw and just think, Oh my god, I should get out of here. No, he just sat there and was like, oh, It's coming. <laughs> this one time, I was at a street festival hosted by my uni and there was a guy doing card tricks. I was watching him when I noticed he dropped a card. Seven of spades. I quickly poo my shoe in it, then bent down to act like I was tying my shoe. He then asked for a volunteer, so I raised my hand. He asked me to say the name of a card at random, so I say seven of spades. He does his trick that I guess was supposed to make it come out on top. He holds up the ace of hearts and says, is this your card? And I hold up the card and said, no, but this is. And the crowd lost it. I handed the card back to the magician and walked away. Later he comes up to me and asks how I did it. I looked him in the eye, smiled and said, Magicians, Magicians never, never reveal, reveal their, their secrets. Secret. And walked away. Okay, that was epic. Just had a guy follow me home from work. He rang my doorbell and when I wouldn't get in his truck, he walked back to his truck, shot his gun into the air and did a burnout at the parking lot. I need to get my pistol permit. Holy crap! Yes, because people just naturally carry pistols around in their pockets and in their cars and to work and to back home. It's just a natural thing out here. My buddy in third grade knew they were going to do the lice check at school one day. He put two live roaches in his afro when it was his turn. Deshaun, wherever you are, know that no one in the third grade class will ever forget you. This school either has an awful roach infection or this kid Deshaun has a really easy access to roaches like whenever he wants it because no one should be able to get roaches that easily. I was walking in the hallway and this blind kid accidentally touched my face and he said, L. And I stopped and I was like, what do you mean L? And he rubbed his head and my forehead and said, that's L in braille. Then he asked why I had braille on my skin, and then it hit me. Forehead acne spells out an L on my forehead. The letter L is on my forehead, but in braille. This is the biggest L I've ever taken. That's not even, that's not even L in braille. So I was just driving until I saw my dog on top of the truck. And you know, instead of going and helping it get down, 
I just kept driving and took a picture of it. Cause that'll get a lot of likes. <laughs> uh, right? Yeah. By the way guys, that's not a dog. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely not a dog. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a week and a half. I've been away on a trip to New York and I was at camp before, but I'm finally back, ready to make videos every Saturday and Wednesday. If you're interested in what my trip was like, I left a link to an unlisted video kind of showcasing a montage that I made while I was there. Also, tell me in the comment section down below what you guys are thinking about me maybe doing a commentary video. I know that it's not usually what my channel is about, but I'm really interested in hearing your thoughts because I'd really like to do one. Secondly, I have a Patreon if you guys are interested in donating. In doing so, you can get cool awards for yourself while also tremendously helping the channel. And also, thanks to these two people for supporting. If you're interested in keeping up with how I'm doing outside of YouTube, you can follow my Twitter at DarkXDom. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy, definitely be sure to drop a like on it. And if you join my channel in general, definitely be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Talk down out. Bye.